my lovely boyfriend has made it to the south of France to come and visit me and it is currently really really early it's 6 a.m and we are trying to get a blah blah car to go to Aix-en-Provence and Avignon maybe I don't know basically today's gonna be a bit of a making it up as we go along day but I thought I'd take you guys along with us because it's um, another big travel day here in the south of France so let's go and see what we get up to train to Avignon Centre. Now we've had a little bit of a stress trying to work out what exactly is happening. So we obviously went to Aix-en-Provence. We got dropped off there by our blah blah car, which was honestly a really, really great experience. Would highly recommend because also it was so, so cheap. It cost us 12 pounds for two people. And the train is at least about 50 euros. So definitely highly recommend using blah blah car. What? I'm trying not to make the noise. <laughs> So from Aix-en-Provence you get the bus out to the TGV which is basically like a train station. It, they do have a central train station but this one is a train station just for the fast high speed network rail and this is outside of the city and it takes about how long did it take us? Like 20 minutes to get there. And then we have then gone to the Avignon TGV, which means that we then have to take this little train into the center. So yeah, that's what we're currently doing. I think it's gonna be tight today. We're gonna have about two, three hours in Avignon. Then we've got an hour journey back and then probably two, three hours in Aix-en-Provence, which is totally fine. And then we're getting another blah, blah car at 5.30. So hopefully we have a fun and good day. We have arrived in Avignon. We've gonna already see the castle gates there. Can't wait to see the rest of the castle remains and everything else. It's a very historic city, so I'm very excited. So we're currently at the bridge that actually works. Just behind me is like the bridge entrance, like with the old city walls, which is so cool. And look at this square behind us, like it's so sweet. So this is something we're seeing on the walk to the broken bridge, which is the bridge that's like basically half fallen into the water, but you can still like walk halfway into the river, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna go and do that. And we're gonna find that right now. stunning here it's gorgeous weather as well considering it's october but a bit random that the bridge just ends here but it's very very beautiful nice to look back on avignon Guys, we have finally made it from Avignon back to Aix-en-Provence. It is a little bit of a nightmare trying to navigate the trains and the buses to try and get from these TGV stations and back and everything. So and it is very expensive to get to Avignon for, the, for this little tiny trip that we've been doing. So not sure entirely if it was completely worth it to spend like half the day there, maybe spend the full day there, I would recommend. But anyway, we've had a really nice time and now we're back in Aix-en-Provence and going to have a little wander around before heading to a viewpoint and then unfortunately heading back home. So guys, we are just sat down at the 
le, it's like singly sing verts or something it's just this restaurant on the main strip i have got a le Vion rose non-alcoholic at the moment and yeah we're just gonna have a little bite to eat before unfortunately we have to head back because our blah blah car wants to come a little bit earlier than expected so we're literally just gonna have to finish up the meal and just go to this like meeting point that's like miles away but you know what we're just gonna do it because 12 pounds for a ride is pretty damn good in my opinion and yeah and then we're just gonna have a nice little time back in Antibes for Dave's last night and then I'm going to give him a very teary farewell in the morning tomorrow so mm. well what a lovely way to spend the last of our days here so we finally got the blah blah car and it took us all the way back to home which was so so good and so needed as well we literally slept in the car on the way back because we were just so tired so obviously we've been up since six and it had been an amazing day like i highly recommend like going to aix en provence maybe do an avion on the same day mm, i don't know just because of just how stressful the trains were and the public transport and we had to be up so early and we stayed there like until you know still till like 4 30 so yeah, we were pushed so i would maybe say if you're going to do x en provence do a day there and then a day in avion is what i recommend we came back and we went to the beach after we had sushi and wine on the beach it was very romantic and then we saw my friends after so we had like amazing time and it was honestly so incredible to have my boyfriend over here and to visit where i live and where i absolutely love so i'm so so happy that he came over and we had such a nice day so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye